Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. Today is episode number 333 of the Level Up program and day number 43 of the Black Belt program. If you're new to the program, this is about my daily practice of shooting the dice at the craps table as well as playing a blue collar craps style of play. We are starting off with a bankroll today of 2,541 in Crapsy, and our goal is to get up to $280 or $2,800, so that's about a $250 increase. Uh, so we'll see if we can do that. In the YouTube side of things, we got Uncle Hoku checking in number one. We got Coach Joe checking in next. Five Young Four, Dice DJ, and Marble Fork Band. So good morning from every to everybody. We also got Wattage Live Craps, and Marble Fork is in Western Kentucky today. So hopefully you are, I think it's probably a work trip. If not, if it's a vacation, I hope it is going well for you. Um, we got Brian Fuego, we got Red checking in as well. So good morning to everybody. Again, we're gonna go um, with a Bukhar style craps of play. Uh, our bankroll is at 2541, so we can start off with a little bit more today. But uh, we're gonna start off with a 15 hour pass line like normal. And then once we get that set, we'll go with the 160 cross bet level. We'll do a little bit of a drawdown to 128 on that first hit. Second hit will come down to 60 on the outside, and we'll start building in and trend betting from there. So let's get her started here. We got 11 people on Crapsy. We got 10 people on YouTube and two likes so far. So we'll call this all bet set. We're sticking with the 3236 dice set, the cousin one set. We have about 400 throws left before we're done with the 3V and we move on to the 2V day set. So here we go, dice out. They split apart a little bit when they left my fingers. We got a 3 2 5. That is a Justice 5. So our first point of the first shooter will be a 5. That's going to be a primary on that left die. That is an explosion on the right die. So there's one dice off access. And like I said, we're going to go with that 160 across bet level. So that is going to be $25 on the 4, 9, and 10. We got 30 on the 6 and 8. We'll pick up $15 in pass line odds. So we actually got 165 out on the table. We'll go for one hit here, and then we'll come down to the 128 across bet level, which is that 4-unit bet level. Again, we're going to go with a 3, 2, 3, 6. That last dice that did have a 3 on top, so that is one of the things that we are looking for. And we will call this all bet set. Dice out. Dice line, they split apart. We have a Buckeye Buckshot. The two, three, five. Justice five again. Five is the point set. Five is the uh, is the number rolled. So we have it. Uh, good start here so far. Again, when we picked up pass line odds there, so that did pay off for us a little bit. $37 brought back to the rack on that. Um, and $150 on a table. We're going to go with the $15 pass line bet again on the come out. And once we get a point established here, we'll reduce our bets down to the 128 cross. We got Leadham checking in on YouTube. We got Demon Dog Chris checking in. Good morning to all. So we're sticking at that $15 pass line bet. That was a 2-3. So that was the opposite of the first one that we had. The first one was a 3-2. Um, a this is a 2-3. So that was a single pitch away in the left eye and a primer in the right side. So they're both on access. Again, a 3 is showing. So we'll stick with that 3-2, three, 3-6. Three, and all bets set. Coming out, looking for a new point. Still shooter number one. Dice out. I split apart a little bit again when they got my fingers. This time we got a 415, the trucking camper. So we're hitting one consistent number, but we're getting to it with different combinations of the dice. <laughs> so that is an interesting start. Uh, so I'm lucky it's a 555, five, five, not the one number up, the 666, because that would be kind of a scary start. Excuse me. So we're going to go $15 pass line odds again. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to bring our bets down. 
I said we're going to go to that 128 across bet level, so that's going to be the four unit level. That's going to be $20 on the 4, 9, and 10. We got 24 in the 6 and 8. We are not doing any pass line odds this time. And again, that was a, we had a four showing. That was a double pitch on that left die. And that was a one showing. It was a single pitch towards us. So ultimately, that was a single pitch of the dice on access. We will all bet set here, 3236. Three, we got Cajun Craps checking in. Good morning. And dice out. <clears throat> A little bit long on that one. We have a 617, and that is an ouch. So I don't know how to consider that start. We have some uh, three numbers in a row that were the same. And then we got the 61, which is a short roll. Uh, so we did bring a little bit of money back. Um, we did lose a little bit. So we're down actually $86 on that first shooter. So let's see if we can get that back right away. Again, we're gonna stick with the three, two, three, six. That six one was a uh, uh, warning shot. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. We got Duvalo checking in on YouTube. We got Puck off Danny. We got, uh, not sure how to say um, your name, Tu uh, Moy. He says, you're using a dice at five, three. Um, that's why a lot of fives. Actually, I'm using the 3V dice set, the 3236 dice set. And um, it depends on the day. I, I tend to shoot consistent numbers, but every day it seems like the number does change a little bit. So I'll go fives one time. Um, if you look at the Crapsy app, where it does track uh, my throws as far as the numbers thrown in the last, um, I don't know, probably the two, last two, three weeks here. And we have 91 fives, we have 91, 98 nines thrown. We have 102 eights, 111 sixes, uh, 55 fours and 64 tens. So that's a significant difference between those two. Um, and then we got 48 elevens, we got 36 threes, 19 twos and 16 twelves. And our uh, big red number in the center is at 125. So we do have somewhat of a pyramid number shape uh, shape to our numbers thrown, but our nines are, are far exceeding and the fives are as well. So, uh, but anyhow, $15 pass line bet will be coming out. So this will be shooter number two and we'll go all bet set here. So stick in with the three, two, three, six. Again, we're gonna look for that warning so we're going to try to avoid that warning so we're going to keep an eye on it and they saw it and we have a five four hard nine the big daddy max we're on the sister number now the opposite side of the dice five four nine and that'll be our new point of shooter number two once again, we're going to go to that 160 cross bet level, which is the five unit level. Good morning, Wayland checking in. And that's going to be $25 on a four, five, and 10. We got 30 on that six and eight. Again, we're going to go $15 in pass line odds. Actually, it needs to be $16 if it's on the six or nine. So we'll go $16 in pass line odds. That has to be an even number. And we will go, um, that was a single pitch towards us on that left eye, and that was a double pitch on the other side. So that was a, ultimately a single pitch of the dice. Uh, we did have a four showing, so that is one of our things that we're looking for, either three or four on top, so that is good. And we'll call that all bet set, three, two, three, six, dice out. My cousin one set. A little bit higher of an arc now, and this time we got a three, five, eight, and that would be the great eight from Leon at Great Craps. So that'll be our hit number one. That'll be enough to bring the bets down to that one twenty-eight across level. We'll be drawing it down here, and um, again, this could be that four-unit level. So we're gonna go. Uh, $20 on the four, five, and 10. We got 24 and at six and eight. We are not gonna do any pass light odds now. 
That was a primary on the right, on the left side. That was an implosion on the right side. So that was one dice off axis, which is still a safe result for the cousin one set. So let's go all bet set here. 17 people on Crapsy. We got 19 people watching on YouTube. Six likes. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on the way out if you do enjoy this content. Dice out. Dice are not comfortable. We'll re grip them. Here we go. And we got a 639. That would be the point. So that is um, nice for us, I guess. 639. We did not quite get out of the shooter because we hit that point. We did not have any pass line odds, but it'll be enough to hopefully get um, close to it. We got $50 brought back. We are going to go to 60 on the outside once we get a new point established. Um, so let's stick with the, um, that was, by the way, an explosion on that left die. That was a primary on the right die. So one dice off axis, still a safe result. Uh, we did have a three showing. So if you look at all of our rolls, except for one, one of them, we either had a three or four showing and that's one of our goals. So Box numbers are turned off. Fifteen dollar pass line bet. Three two three six. They saw it. That was kind of a weird roll. That right one actually rolled backwards instead of going forwards. We got a two three five. Justice five. So our new point will be that five again, uh, which is what we rolled the first three rolls. So two three five. And we're going to bring our bets down now to that $60 on the outside. So we're only into the shooter now for $10. So it's going to be $15 on that 4 9 and 10 $15 pass line bet. If we hit a 4, we'll pick up the 6 for 18 If we hit a 9 or 10, we'll pick up that 8 for 18 And then from there, we'll start trend betting up once we get the, either the up river side or the down river side uh, fully covered. So, um, single pitch away on that left die, primary on the right die. So, those on axis both dice, single pitch of the dice, and all bet set. Dice on this. And we got a three, five, eight. Another great eight. So, we are definitely seeing repeat dice. Uh, results that is no help for us though because we do not have any bets on that eight right now so we're gonna have to keep on rolling and hopefully we hit something there again our goal is to make about 250 dollars today on crapsy and if we can do that that would be uh, a reasonable goal just slightly over that 10 percent mark baby about 11 or 12 percent and we take our money down and we run to the cashier's cage with that. So 18 people on Crapsy, 18 people on YouTube. Wow, it is exactly the same on both sides. We'll go all bet set here. They saw looking for an outside number. Three, two, three, six. Come on, put those dice decent, Joe. And we got a three, five, eight again. Once again, the great eight. So we need to get an outside number here in order to start getting paid. And so we can pick up that eight. Again, blue car crap style is trying to get out of the shooter in as few of rolls as possible. And then starting to build up once you get to that break even point. Um, that was a 3-5 primary on the left side, imposing again on the right side. So that was two rolls in a row where we had the same exact dice result. So we'll call this all bets set and dice out. Dice put apart just slightly again when they left my fingers. And we got three, four, seven. And that would be an ouch. Double pitch of the dice. So that was not much help for me. Um, 
most people should have made a slight profit off of that roll if they did it correctly. Uh, it was 19 roll quality points. Uh, it was not much of help for us because I did not have those sixes or eights covered uh, after we drew the dice down or the our bets down. So I lost ten dollars on that one. So we're down about ninety-five dollars for the day, I think. Yes. So we're down to twenty-four forty-five for our bankroll. We started at twenty-five forty-one. So almost a hundred dollars. Again, fifteen dollar pass line bet. And we're sticking with the three, two, three, six. We're gonna watch out that double pitch was a warning sign. And I'll bet set. Okay, so one, three, four. That would be the big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So one, three, four, four will be our new point. Again, we're gonna go with the um, with the uh, 160 cross bet level, five unit bet level on all the open numbers. So that's going to give us $25 in that five, nine, and 10. We got $30 on a six and eight. We will not do any pass line odds right now. That was an implosion on that left die, it's a primary on the right die, so that is a safe result for them. That was a one set. So we'll stick with that three, two, three, six. And let's call this all bets set here. Dice out. Let's see if we can get a little bit longer of a roll. See if we can get uh, big double digits here. Dice out. We got a 5 6 Midmo Yo. That is true coming to us from above. So that one was slightly different at throw than the other ones. Um, I felt like I actually extended my throw a little bit further than what I normally do. So good morning, JR22. That would be Joel. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Level Up on Thursday morning. So that was a uh, five, six. So that was an, uh, a single pitch towards us on the... Um, on the left die, it was a single pitch away on the right die, so that was ultimately a double pitch. Again, that would be a warning sign for us. Six to three, two, three, six, and all bets set. Looking for a box hit here. Dice out. And we got a five, four, hard nine, Big Daddy Mac. So that is a repeat dice combination so far today. We're throwing a lot of fives and nines today. So that is gonna be our hit number one. That'll be enough to bring it back down to that 128 across bet level. So we're gonna draw it down one level. That's the four unit bet level. And again, that will bring us to 15 hours on a five, nine, and 10, 18 hours on a six and eight. And that was a, a single pitch towards us on the uh, left die. That was a double pitch on the right die. So single pitch ultimately overall. Good morning, dusted one. And we will call this all bet set. Face out. Ooh, that didn't feel good. There you go. These are not comfortable. They're splitting apart just slightly. So I, th my, I don't think my middle finger is centered on the front of the dice. I think that's a big reason why. Dice out. <laughs> and every time that happens, that's seven shows. So I need to keep on regripping until I can get that centered. Every time I feel that small little crack on the front of the dice, uh, seven doesn't show up. Usually it's the uh, four, uh, the six one or the five two that shows up when it happens. So not a good start to the day here. Uh, we're down another sixty-one dollars, so we're down about a hundred and sixty dollars, just under one hundred sixty dollars for the day. We should be able to make that up though, pretty easy here. So this time we're not going to do any line bet. We're just going to do the one 
uh, 60 across, go down to 128 across, go down to the 60 on the outside. So no line bet on this. We'll pretend that somebody else is shooting. And that's usually a, a sign that we're going to have a longer roll. So who knows? We'll, we'll give her a shot and see what happens. Um, but let's call this all bet set. Place out. We got a 5-6 Minmo Yo. That is a pass line winner, a natural on a come out. That did nothing for me since I didn't have anything on the pass line. Again, single pitch towards us on the left die. And what do we have? We had a six. So that's a single pitch away. So that is a uh, double pitch of the dice. Again, a warning sign. Let's switch it around to the 3632 once and see what happens. So this is the cousin two set, and we're coming out looking for a point. Face out. 639, that'd be a center field nine. And that would be a single pitch away in that left eye. That is a primary in the right side. Both dice on exit. Safe result. Single pitch of the dice. So our point will be nine. We're going to go 160 across. Again, we do not have any line bets. This is going to be a five unit on each number all the way across. 25 on the four, five, nine, and 10. 30 on that six and eight. Three, six, three, two. Cousin two set. And we have three showing, so that's a good thing. And we'll go all bet set. They saw. Four, six, ten. That'd be Wayne's best friend, Wayne at N. Daddy Joe. So that'll be hit number one, and that is a nice hit because that's at the $25 level. So that'd be $49 brought back to the rack. After the vig, so we'll draw our numbers down. We'll go to that four unit bet level now, and that's gonna be uh, twenty dollars on the four, five, nine, and ten. Twenty four, and that's six and eights. So we have one hundred twenty eight hours on the on the table. We have forty nine brought back. That was a double pitch on the left die, and then implosion on the right die. So three, six, three, two, cousin two set. And we'll call this all about set. And again, like I said, we are doing just the three V dice set right now. We have about another 400 throws left before we can switch over to that two V dice set. And we'll do 2000 throws at that level. Once you get 2000 and that, we'll do a cross sixes for 2000. Then we're going to go uh, kind of an advanced rhythm rolling method for 4000 throws after we get done doing this whole series through so far. But all bet set and they out. 2000. Again, this dice split apart. We got lucky. We got a 4 3, I'm sorry, 4 2. Kevin the Carpenter, two by four. Ouch, I said the wrong thing in the beginning, so that, that's not good. But we got a six. And that would be hit number two. So we finally got out of the shooter. We got $77 brought back to the rack. Um, we'll bring our bets down. I normally would go 66 on the outs. I'm sorry, 60 on the outside, but we're going to go 66 on the inside now. Uh, so this could be 15 hours on that five and nine. We got 18 on a six and eight. First hit, we'll pick up either the four or 10, whatever, depending on whatever side it is. That was a double pitch on that left die. That was a single pitch away on the right die. So that is a single pitch of the dice. Ultimately, the safe result. So we'll stick with the cousin two set, three, six, three, two. And we had a four showing. So we've been definitely hitting the fours and, and threes on top, so that's good. And they out.
And we got a 639. That would be the center field nine. And that is not just the nine, that is the point. So we hit the point. That is awesome. And that'll be enough to pick up that eight now. So we'll bring six stars back to the rack and put the, I'm sorry, we we're gonna pick up the 10 for 15. So we'll bring six stars back and then we'll put 15 out there. So three, six, three, two. That last one was a six, three. So that was a, again, single pitch on the left side, primary on the right side, ultimately a single pitch of the dice. We are not doing any line bets. Somebody else is shooting here. <laughs> And we'll call this all bet set. 18 people on Crapsy, 18 people on YouTube. And they out. A little bit long on that landing zone. We have a come out seven, five, two. And that is the Bruce. Do not become shark bait. And like Alfredo says, do not work those come outs. Do, do, do not work the come out. Well, our landing zone was a little bit long on that one. So we're going to stick with the same dice set, 3632, which is a cousin two set. Um, that was more of a mechanical issue on that last one than anything, I think. No line bets here. Looking for a new point. $98 brought back to the rack. We have 66 on the table currently. Again, once we get a point established, we'll put $15 on that 10. And dice out. Again, those dice split apart just a little bit. We have a one, three, four, Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So our point will be four once again. And like I said, we're gonna put $15 on that 10. So we currently have, um, that's a place bet by the way. Currently have $15 on the five, nine, and 10. 18 on the six and eight, nothing on the four. 98 dollars brought back, 81 on the table. And that was a single pitch towards us on the left eye, primary on the right eye, primary on top. So three, six, three, two, cousin two set we're sticking with. And all that's set. Is it? I hit the back wall just a little bit hard, but we had a 5-1 KitchenAid mixer. So that would be the six. And that is perfect. So five, one, six. And we're gonna use $15 of that to pick up that four. So now we're all the way across, 96 across on our bets. I didn't get it, that'll be a place bet. 119 brought back to the rack, 96 on the table. And that was the first time in a long time we've not had a three or four on top. That was an explosion on that left die, and that was an explosion on the right die. So we had a double explosion of the dice. And let's call this all bet set. Dice out. Ooh, that left one kind of took off on us. We have another 5-1 KitchenAid mixer. So another six. That left one kind of bounced a little erratically. Uh, so hopefully we do not repeat that dice action off the back wall, if you will. Uh, but that's going to allow us to bring that six up to $30. And we finally got a green number up on the screen for Crapsy. 140 brought back to the rack, 108 on the table. Again, that was an uh, explosion of that left eye. That was an explosion of the right eye. So double explosion, both dice off axis. Now bet set, dice out. Ooh, that was not good. And they split as soon as I picked them. There we go. Here we go. And we got a 426 this time. That would be another Kevin the Carpenter 2x4. So now we're stuck on the sixes, which I'm fine with. 
We're going to make that six look like uh, 42 dollars, I believe. Give me one second here. Get that off the screen so I see. Yep, we're going to make that six look like 42 dollars. Um, so we have 175 brought back to the rack, 120 on the table. Now, if I wanted to play this smart, I would consider bringing my bets down to maybe like a six and eight. $18 in each, so that way that would be kind of a recovery because we lost how much on those first uh, three shooters. So if we took everything down, we would be um, $18 in profit if we took everything off the table right now. 3632, that last roll was a double pitch on the left die, single pitch on the right die, so single pitch ultimately overall, safe result on the Cousin 2 set. And we'll call that all bet set here. Thanks so much. Ooh, that left one went a little bit high, um, but we got a 415 trucking camper. And that will be a nice little hit. We'll be able to bring that five up to twenty-five dollars now. Make it look like twenty-five, so we we'll start trend betting that number up. Um, but that left die was a little bit higher than the right die, so it was not really in line like I like to see it. Uh, that was a double pitch on that left die. That was an explosion on the right die, uh, which is a safe result for the cousin two sets. So we'll stick with the three six three two. So I'm kind of excited. Tomorrow, the uh, uh, freestyle wrestling Olympic trials are going to be starting, I believe, at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm kind of excited to watch those. I have full wrestling, so <laughs> I'll be watching probably reruns because I'm going to have to get some sleep tomorrow for a little bit. And then we're going to be working on a table tomorrow. And either tomorrow or Saturday, I'll be making a trip up to Green Bay to hit the casino. They sell it. And we got a four, three, seven. Ouch. And that's a double pitch of the dice. So made a little bit of the money back. Uh, not a lot, but we made a little bit. So that was a profit on this shooter. Uh, we made a profit of uh, $76. So we got about half of the money that we had lost back. So that's, I guess, a good sign. We'll stay with the cousin two set, three, six, three, two. We will go with, um, let's get some hard ways, says <laughs> Wattage Life Crafts. It, it, it all depends on my, on my throwing. Some days I throw a ton of them. Other days, which would be the majority, I don't throw a lot of hard ways for some reason. Uh, but anyhow, we are going to um, go back up on the pass line bet, the $15 pass line bet. It was at 15 people on Crapsy yet. We got 19 people watching live on YouTube. And we finally got a double digit roll. So let's see if we can double that now. See if we can get up into the 20s. Uh, yes, we started off with a 20 and we had two bad rolls and we finished off with a nine for the day. They saw it. They slam super tight together and they split apart into the 5 2 Bruce. So that is a come out winner, pass line winner, natural. And that is the Bruce. So do not become shark bait. So we're going to stick with that $15 pass line bet. 3632. And again, I like to have just a small bit of separation on the dice when they land so they don't kiss together like that. But that is one of the things that does happen. And that's not just for me, that's for a lot of people when they dice kiss off of each other when they land. So all bet set. And dice out. Three, six, three, two, cousin, two sets. And we have another come out seven. Wow, these come out sevens are are really meg are multiplying the last few days. So there's another pass line winner, natural. Looking for a point on this shooter. Let's see if we can get a hat trick here and get another one. 
three, we're going to go back to the three, two, three, six now. That last one was a, um, a single pitch away with an explosion of the dice, which on the cousin two set is a warning sign. So we're going to switch back to the three, two, three, six. And I'll bet set. Dice out. Again, those dice split apart when he left my fingers. This time we got a one, two, three, the ace, two, so Fredo sauce, which is a pass line loser this time. On a come out. Three, two, three, six. Stick with a $15 pass line bet. And we will call this all bet set. Dice out. Got home from work this morning. I worked on the uh, first video again a little bit more. Um, starting to add background music to it now. So um, we got a two, four, six, a Kevin the Carpenter two by four. The dice, the left eye kind of split off and flew off to the left side there. What you will definitely see on my table build uh, videos that are going to be slightly different than what I've done in the past as far as the quality and the production value of the video. Um, the uh, content is going to be similar. I know this first video that I did is kind of a vlog, it starts off vlog style, and then it turns into the build as, as the video goes. Um, and, and I've been trying a lot of work on it to make it very professional looking, if you will. So we'll go all bets set here. Oh, we're going to go 160 across. I got to put my bets out now that we have a point established. Again, we're going to be looking for one hit here, and then we'll bring our bets down to 128 across the level. Uh, we got $15 in pass line odds. We put $25 on a 4, 5, 9, and 10, 30 in at 8. And I'll bet set. And we're going to be looking for a draw down here. They nice. put apart again on me. 415 trucking camper. A little bit of a high energy uh, back wall release. Double pitch on that left die. That's a single pitch on the right die. So that's ultimately a single pitch of the dice. And that's going to be hit number one here. So we can bring our bets down to the 128 across, which is that four unit level. We on a four, five, nine, and 10, 24, and at eight. We will go with no pass line odds right now, which I'm going to probably regret, but I'm going to do that right now. No pass line odds. And we'll call it all bet set. A little bit tired again today from work. It's been a long week. They saw it. The left dice, or the right dice stuck this time. Left one continue on. We got a 628. That would be the Duracell 8. Go out and support free live crafts. So that is going to be hit number two that we're looking for. And now we will be able to get out of the shooter once again. So that's going to be $78 brought back to the rack. We're going to go um, 66 on the inside for our next bet. So that way we will be in the profit. Um, $78 brought back, 63 on the table because of the pass line. So we actually have a $15 profit so far. Uh, that was an explosion on that left die. That was an explosion on the right die. So ultimately, safe result, a double explosion. And all but set. And now we're going to be looking to hit an inside number. If we can, we'll pick up that four or ten, depending on which side it, it hits. And here we go. Base out. 
and 437 out wow we just can't get any traction we get to that break even point these last few rolls that's a double pitch of the dice by the way that left eye kind of bounced around erratically again we just can't get any traction off of these rolls at all we make just a small profit um we're um about 65 dollars or so under where we started our day off with uh, the betting. So uh, let's see if we can do something slightly different with our bets. Um, let's look at my chart and see if anything really jumps out at me. It's something that I want to try. Um, that's the wrong page. Darn it. That's the page I'm looking for right here. Um, let's go with a 150 investment. So ten dollars less invested, but we're gonna spread the money out just a little bit differently. Uh, again, fifteen dollar pass line bet, uh, and I believe we did this sell bet either yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 110 on the inside, and we'll pick up twenty dollars on the four, twenty dollars on a ten for one hit. We'll do 32 or 27 across pressure, and then we'll come down to the 16 outside, plus pick up either the 6 or 8 or 18. And I'll explain it to you as we go. So dice out, 3, 2, 3, 6. Looking for a new point. This is shooter number 6 for the day. Wow. it's a lot of shooters. So here we go. Oh, the dice actually rolled out of my fingers forward a little bit. 6, 3, 9, center field 9. And then it'll be our new point. So that was not a uh, decent throw mechanically wise, mechanical wise. And again, like I said, we're going to go with that 110 inside bet level. And um, we're going to go with $20 on the four, which is a buy bet, $20 on the 10, which is a buy bet. And we're going to go. $15 pass in odds. So we've got actually $155 on the table now, $5 less than what we were doing before. And we'll go 3236. Three, that last one was a explosion of the uh, left eye primary and the top on the right side. So single pitch of the dice with one off axis. Dice out. Now when I kind of push with my thumb, damn it, 2-5 Bruce. Bruce is killing us today. Ugh. I know we're not down a terrible amount, um, but <laughs> that was enough. We're down, uh, down at 23.30 now, so we're down about $211. Um... Again, no pass line bet, no line bet. We're going to level up, or we're going to um, go to 320 across and then do a drawdown from there. 320 across, 160 across, and then we'll see what we brought back to the rack and see if we can do a little bit of recovery here. So 14 people still in craps. You were down to 15 people on YouTube. 12 likes, all bets set. And they so Base line, they split apart. We have a 3 3 hard six to double degen. That's a primary on top on both sides. Six will be our new point. And again, like I guess so we're going to go with that 320 across bet level. Or I shouldn't say bet level, it is, is going to be 320 across because we don't have any pass line bet. Uh, so that is going to be $50 on the four, five, nine, and 10, 60 on the six and eight. So Inside numbers will pay out 70. That outside number will pay out 98 after the big. <laughs> and um, I got a hard way finally there, Wattage Life Crafts. Yep. <laughs> so three, two, three, six. And let's go all about set here. Dice on 
So we'll then hit here, we'll go draw it down, take a second hit, draw it down again. That's out. Four one five, that would be the horse and buggy. Trucking camper. So that'll be hit number one. That'll be seventy dollars brought back. And that is um, enough to draw the bets down to the 160 cross belt bet level. So we're going to go $25 on a 4, 5, 9, and 10, 30 on a 6, and 8. One hit here, and we'll draw it down one more time after this. So 3, 2, 3, 6. The last one was a double pitch of the left eye. And a single pitch towards us on the right die. Single pitch ultimately safe result for the cousin one set. And all bets set. Dice out. Ooh, high energy, guys. We got OMC craps, all the dots and all the spots. Midnight. High energy. That was quite a forceful. Uh, departure from that back wall on both dice this time. I'm thinking that my landing zone was a little bit closer than normal. Now it's a comment that uh, Demon Dog Chris made me last time I was down in Juliet. Is he was surprised on how light my dice uh, go into the back wall, how soft they're throwing. Uh, he, he expected them to be throwing a little bit harder than what they are. But uh, 160 cross on our bet levels, 25 on a 4, 5, 9, and 10, 30 on a 6, and 8. All bets set. Cousin 1 set 3, 2, 3, 6. Dice out. Again, a little bit forceful off that back wall, but we have another 426. Kevin the Carpenter, two by four. So that was our point. We'll be coming out looking for a new point. Again, we're not doing any line bets. We have $105 brought back to the rack, so we got a little bit of recovery on that one. Uh, we will probably go, uh, I'm thinking about maybe just doing 96 across right away. So that way we didn't really make that much, but we could start trend betting up from there maybe. Uh, so 4-2, that was a double pitch on the left die. That was an explosion on the right die. We're sticking up to 3-2-3-6. Dice out. Looking for a new point. Huh. Both dice landed and did not go forward. They did not go backwards. We got an ace deuce Alfredo sauce. Two on three traps. Getting a little saucy. That is a pass line loser. It does not affect us, though. We did not have a line bet up there. That mechanically uh, felt good, but the dice uh, did not respond. So that is something we're not going to analyze too much with because we do not want to repeat that type of dice action. So all bets set here and dice out. They split apart. Again, we're looking for a new point here. They stay cross. We have another 426, Kevin the Carpenter 2x4. So that is definitely a repeat dice combination that we've seen quite a few times already today. So our new point is back on that six. And again, we'll bring our bets down. We'll go to 96 across. Oops. Uh, change with denominations there. So $15 on a 4, 5, 9, and 10, 18 on a 6, and 8. It's $105 brought back, 96 on a table. Double pitch of the left die, explosion on the right die. Again, safe result for the cousin one, three, two, three, six. And all bets set. Dice out. Two 
two and three ace deuce again. And that one felt comfortable. It was, might have been a little bit low on the trajectory, but that one did feel comfortable. Uh, the dice mm -hmm. action wasn't the worst, I guess. Again, single pitch away on that left die. Single pitch towards us on the right die. So that is a, uh, a double pitch of the dice, which is a warning sign. And those sixes are uh, doing well today. We got eight of them. The nines are doing well as, all, as well as the fives. The fives, six, and nines are the hot numbers today. Um, so that's good. Again, we'll go all bet set. That last one was no help for us. And dice out. Dice rolled over. Here we got another six, four, two, six. Kevin DeCarper, two by four again. Wow. And that one, I think it was luck because um, the dice both veered off to the left. It means my wrist is a little crooked when I release the dice. So that is a uh, point made. Almost a Buckeye Buckshot. So we're going to make that six look like $30 when we get our bets, our new point established here. Three, two, three, six. That was a double pitch on the left die, single pitch on the right die. Oh, I'm sorry, explosion on the on the right die. So one dice off axis and a single pitch of the other, and I'll bet set. A double pitch of the other, and I'll bet set here. Three, two, three, six. Looking for a new point. Dice out. Kind of jerked on that one a little bit. Three, four, seven on a come out pass lane. Winner, natural. Yeah, it kind of jerked down a little bit when I threw it, unfortunately. So it was not smooth. That was a double pitch of the dice. Three, two, three, six. And then all that set. Okay, so we're going to be going for another double digit roller here. They split apart. And we have a two, five, seven, another come out seven pass line winner natural. That is the Bruce. Do not become shark bait. Three to focus here a little bit. Focus on that release. Box numbers are still turned off. 13 people playing in craps. He's down to 11 people watching now. And I'll bet set here. They out. <laughs> there you go, dusted one. You got a two five seven. There's your jackpot three sevens uh slot jackpot the three sevens in a row. Ugh. Come on, Joe. Snap out of this rhythm here. <laughs> so again, that is a warning sign. So we're gonna go three six three two. Hopefully we get a point established here. And if we do, we're going to make that six look like three or uh, 30. I'm killing the sevens today. Six come out sevens. Unreal. So I've thrown 12 sevens today, and that definitely brought our numbers back up. Uh, we were doing good on those sevens for quite a while. So 12 sevens today. Wow. Out of 47 throws. That's not good. But at least most of them came out in the come out. Dice out. A little bit long in the lane. So we got a 5-5 five, five, hard 10, the old bay bushel. So our new point will be 10. That would be a single pitch away on that left die mm -hmm. and an implosion on the right die. So that is uh, implosion with a single pitch away is actually uh, a warning sign on that, um, on that cousin one set. 
three, two, three, six. Actually, three, six, three, two, we're going to. Okay, and like I said, we're going to make that six look like $30. And I'm sorry for yawning here. I told you it was a long night at work. I am tired here. Um, to move to board, says Joe, uh, Coach Joe. And he, um, I'm going to go two boards backwards. How is that, Coach Joe? Occasion asked right or left. <laughs> so if anybody knows that that reference is towards two boards, just move two boards. Put in a chat, anybody other than Coach Joe, what that means. Two boards. Face out. And Coach Joe gave me bad advice. Uh, two, five, seven. Oh, my God. And that is an ouch. And that is the last uh, roll for the day. So that's the last time I'm going to listen to Coach Joe, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Too funny. Um, let's go. Bowling, you're 100% accurate in that uh, occasion, Crafts. And Lidham says bowling, 100% accurate in that. But let's go through our statistics for the day. Um, I'm not going to do a lap for Coach Joe either, even though he wants me to. <laughs> we had seven flipping um, shooters today. Wow. We only had two in the double digits. We had a four, seven, four, 12, seven, four. 2 and 13. Uh, that 13, although it was the longest, was not our best quality roll. SOR today of 7.0. SRR of miserable 3.6 with 6 come out 7s. Wow. Box numbers are a little bit low. Inside numbers are expected. 4s and 10s are low today. Come out 7s way off the charts. Horns and fields are low. Hardwoods. Everything is freaking low except for the come out 7s. What are the chances of that? Big hot numbers today, five, six, and barely that nine. Uh, statistics for Black Belt, this is through the end of yesterday. We have 1,624 throws in through the end of yesterday at the Black Belt level. 10.22 SOR, 6.62 SRR, and a 7.04 BSR. So SOR is looking good, BSR is looking good. That SRR, dude, that is killing us. That's probably going to be about a 6.5 after I put in today's results, but we'll see what happens with that. Anyhow, thanks for joining in today, guys, and we will meet you back here again tomorrow, hopefully. My name is Joe. This is my Crafts Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. Have a great day. Be safe and be prosperous.